So I thought it would be kind of fun to do a demonstration and see if your time is valuable to you in regards to communication between a couple PCs if you're sharing files. We have a one gigabit, we have a 2.5, and we have a 10 gigabit per second. Now there is a five that would fall right in here, but they're very uncommon. They're not as common, I should say. I just want to do a kind of a speed test. How fast can we transfer the files uh, in the difference of all three of these? And let's just check it out. Anything modern, you're not going to need anything else to go with this. A 2.5, it's a little questionable. Most motherboards nowadays do have 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports on them, but if you don't, this is not gonna matter. You won't be able to use this. So you have to have at least a 2.5 gigabit port on the back of your motherboard in order for this one to work. And again, with this one, this is a 10. Now, <clears throat> you have to have two computers and a switch or yeah, you would have to have a switch or a router that would capable of these speeds. Just an FYI on all this. You do need like an adapter card. You can pick one of these up if your motherboard does not support the actual, you know, one point or uh, one gigabit per second or the 2.5 or even the 10. You can get a 10. It'll support all backwards compatible or you can get a 2.5. It'll support anything below that or just a one. But if you get the one, it will not support anything further up than that. So anyway, let's get these things tested out and just do a speed test. Stay right there. All right, so let's do a speed test here. I have a bunch of videos in, in this one that says handbrake and it says completed. We hover over it. We can see it's 137 gigabytes. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a timer and I am going to drag this entire thing. So it's just a copy. This is going from, I just want you to, I want to show you. This is the She-Hulk, right? Over here is the Dark Dragon. So I have these two computers actually communicating. So we're going to go to the Dark Dragon documents. And this is where we're going to go. And we're going to click, drag, drop and start the timer. And we can actually see it might calculate the timer here also, but let's see how long this actually takes. Sometimes this is off by a little bit. And we can see that right now we're actually doing the one gigabit per second switch. And we are getting the speeds as it does advertise, even just slightly better, but it's advertising at the one gigabit per speed. One gigabit per speed, one gigabit per second. That is the speed it's running at. So let's see how long this takes. It still says 21 minutes. We we're at 40 seconds. So I'm just going to leave this thing kind of set up and you can watch the timer. Well, we're approaching the last three gigabytes and what is our time gonna be? I mean, it did say 21 minutes, but let's see. Is it going to be right at 21 minutes? We got two gigabytes left. There we go, guys. A few megabytes left. Right there. <laughs> you want to see what I stopped it at? 20 minutes, 59 seconds. So that was pretty good guess by windows on how long it was going to take to um, transfer those files. So now let me get the 2.5 hooked up and it's actually the same size. These two eh, might be a little bit bigger. The box is a little bit bigger. I think because the power supply might be slightly bigger. That might be why, but I think the actual units look the same. So anyway, let me get that hooked up and and then we'll give that a test. All right, here we go. We are on the 2.5 gigabit switch now. Let's copy and drag that over. And of course, I didn't reset the time. Uh, so we lost about two, maybe three seconds there. And we can also see our 280 megabytes per second, which is the 2.7 actually, or 2.5 gigabits per second. So it's reading as it should. Matter of fact, just a little bit better. Again, there's no sense in showing you the timer. I'll just let you know what it's going to be. Plus we can see the approximate was eight or nine minutes. 
and yeah so let's get this thing going well we are getting down to the last three gigabytes right now and we are going to stop this right now and don't forget we got to add on you know two three four seconds because of my delay of putting this on but we've got eight minutes and 20 seconds so eight minutes 22 23 seconds somewhere in there is what it took to move that so we went from 21 minutes down just to eight minutes 20. now that's a significant improvement um it going between just these two now Let's go up to this and I'm going to show you what this thing can do. You're going to be impressed. This time I got the timer in the hand and we are going to start this in three, two, one, go. I might as well stay right here because this isn't going to take very long. All right, here we go. Last three gigabytes and stopping now. That was Two minutes, nine seconds, almost two minutes, 10 seconds. That is it. So significantly even faster. Um, very, very impressed. And I don't know. I wonder if the uh, fiance is going to let me keep this or not. <laughs> we'll see. Now, I don't have the actual 2.5 gigabit card here because it's actually right behind here. But we can take a look here at the 10 gigabit versus the one, which is, let me just do a size comparison. So the one gigabit card is virtually the same as far as the size, but we can see the size difference here. And you can actually even see it standing up. That's the difference. The other difference is of course, this one comes with one, two, three, oh, eight ports on it. This one only has five. And unfortunately, even if I was to keep this, I can't utilize it fully because I use six ports. So I have one computer there. I have two, I have my Synology, which takes two, so that's three. So I can have um, double the bandwidth going to it, which gives me 2.5 going to it. So we have three there. We have four, five, and the sixth one is actually the ethernet coming in to here so I can get out. And of course, if I need to hook up anything else, that's using seven. You know, if I'm demonstrating or anything, that's at least seven that I need. So unfortunately, I can't really use this unless I go from this switch like ethernet in and then come back out of here to go to the 2.5. It just, it won't be worth this. I'd rather upgrade this one to a much larger one in the future if I choose to go that route. So I will leave a link to all these down below, but it is up to you to determine what the value is here for you. And that's it. That's it. That's all I got. It's in your hands now. But anyway, feel free to leave comments down below and ask any questions that you want. Go ahead and give this thing a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind supporting me in the channel. Also consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to get notified for any future videos that I do post. And until next time, guys, take care.